hi loves we are back again with another video so thank you for for clicking and today i'm going to talk about my experiences traveling around ghana as a nigerian in this video i'm going to talk about what i think about the relationship between ghanaians and nigerians on the internet versus the relationship of the internet i'm in a good position to talk about this because i have been living here for quite a while like a year even though I still go to Nigeria every two to three months, yeah. and I've been traveling around Ghana. I think I've gone to more places in Ghana than places I've not been to. I'm in a perfect position to talk about these happenings. And should that sound like something you want to hear, like this video. And thank you for sharing my videos. Recently, YouTube started making me know that people are sharing my videos. And sincerely, from my heart, I appreciate you. If you are that person that has been sharing my video, thank you for doing so. God bless you. So let's dive straight into the video. This is long overdue anyway. I've been suppressing it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk about this until I'm, I go to the Volta region first. Because that's one place I've not gone. Yet again, I've been to almost every part of Ghana except for Volta region. I had wanted to go there, come back before I do this video. But don't worry. We can never do too much. I will go and I believe in God that my experience over there will be nothing short of amazing so but then let me share other ones uh places i've been to and the treatment i got offline versus what i'm getting online i have been to quite a number of places i feel like there's need to talk about this because sometime on the internet the tension between nigerians and Ghanaians, it is just so scary that you wonder what is going on is sometimes when you try to balance they don't they don't balance at all been to the north the east i have been to the west and i have been to the central i have been to of course the greater accra region is a must for every foreigner several occasions i've been to the ashanti on several occasions and i have also been to where again if i remember i'll tell you in this video so one place i've not gone to is the volta region of ghana and i cannot wait to go to that part of ghana and see i have been to all of these places and my experience have been nothing short of amazing the only place i went to and i felt down but it was only one person but that place happened to be cape coast you will least expect that a place like cape coast where a lot of foreigners do visit you experience is this racism no this is not racism you experience tribalism right but unfortunately your girl experienced it and i felt very bad for the whole day how this happened is i went to buy food in i came out from a hotel i didn't want to buy their food i wanted something that is prepared today you know this roadside food they are made today so i wanted to buy wache and then i walked away from my guest house and then i walked to where an open space and when i got there I was attending to another person then i queued behind the person and then she sold to that person then before as the person was about leaving another person came and queue behind me like she spoke in three what do i want and because i couldn't respond back i told her sorry i don't understand three and she didn't say anything again she now signaled the person behind me and asked and pacho and the lady behind me responded quickly that she wanted to buy whatever she wanted to buy and then the, she sold to that lady so i felt like maybe because that lady is an elderly woman the one behind me is elderly so maybe that's why maybe that's why she wants to attend to her first but i was wrong another person came again she finished selling to that lady she attended to that one i was like what is happening and then another guy again came so it was when she's finished it was when she was done with the person that came twice after me and she wanted to attend to the one told after me the guy now told her oh nipacho um attend to this lady why and the guy even asked me uh what do you want to buy i guess that was what he's trying to say in but because and i told him sorry i don't understand tree he was like oh you don't oh he now told the lady attend to her why like she's been here i saw her she's been here so attend to her and then she now uh wave her hands and at me and i was like 
please don't buy normally i'm supposed to get angry and go right they mean that you know they mean that you assume get angry and go but i wanted to follow that to the end because i thought maybe she does not understand english and i was already forgiving her because of that but when she now asked when she now when i told her what she appointed quickly because i thought she does not understand english i pointed at what she when she finished selling that and she asked me and what else and the english that came out of her mouth was really good it wasn't like someone struggling to speak i was like i wanted to say so you speak english but i thought about the guy behind me who already defended me i didn't find a need to so she sold to me and i left i was i felt bad i felt really bad so that's the only time i've had to deal with physical tribalism in my life as okay another place yeah, yeah yeah of course the hospital but i don't know why i have this habit of forgiving people in the hospital health workers both in ghana and in nigeria because of i think they have one thing in common that's always treating patients like, like they are less human so whenever i'm going to the hospital i usually wear the hat of i beg after all they are going to discriminate against me so that's it so it won't hurt me when i get there so in the hospital it's common to experience where someone will likely make you feel down but recently i think the last one i went when wendy was not feeling well when wendy was admitted you stay in the hospital be conference other other patients also were telling me oh them too it's not only me that these nurses when you talk to them they will not answer yes okay so it's not only me good so i've not had physical tribalism physical anything for being a nigerian of course or less on the internet and there's this particular place i went to that i can never forget because i mean that is um Girapa in upper west oh my god i can never forget how i was treated in that place my goodness they are too nice see don't get me wrong oh Ghanaians are good though but you see that that particular community that particular part of ghana they are just different like i don't know if it's because they speak english like people speak english over there so when you don't speak to him it is no nothing like a biggie so nobody cares nobody want to ask you ah hey you're foreigner oh foreigner <laughs> oh foreigner no because they believe maybe you are ga or ewe or any other tribe that you know recently visited there so it's uh normal like not speaking tree is okay the way people behave not just to me okay sometimes we judge people by the way they treat us we forget that we should pay attention to how they treat other people so we were so welcome like the people are so nice when it, like too nice so yeah i've not had a case of you know having to feel like oh i'm a foreigner but here if you are a creative on social media especially if you have not been to ghana or you're new in ghana and you do videos around ghana ah uh, you are going to experience it you are going to struggle you hear things like you nigerians you stop talking about us do videos about your country do this do this so in other words basically what i'm trying to say what i want to say in the video is that the relationship is just different it's not the same and there was a time i went to accra first time i vlogged at mokola market 2021 i did a video at mokola market that time my channel was just coming up youtube was youtube algorithm was just you know starting to give me a handshake like this ah, welcome welcome so it was sweet to me so i went to mokola market to vlog filming and i remember people you know how crowded and busy the market is out of 100 people that pass me by out of them 95 of them were warning me against losing my phone they were telling me and that that was my very first time of going there they were telling me hey be careful with your phone be careful with your phone they will snatch it they will do this so i became careful so when i finished filming i came back to sit down and wait for a vehicle and then in that video i said oh i was afraid of filming at the densely populated part of the market because i didn't want to lose my phone hey backlash <laughs> i remember being backlash at my comment section 
oh my god i was dropped i was dropped like i passed my neighbor generator then it was new to me like i don't understand but someone here physically that i can see is telling me to be careful that I could my phone could be snatched so you that is not there maybe you've never been here or, i mean people that have never been to mokola before were attacking me why will you say that why will you say that so so but me i like you you start to ask yourself the relationship between us online and the one physically the bottom line is is they are not the same it's just so different here if i complain about anything you see that hospital today i'll be bashed for it but in real life there was something happened in the hospital so i went like i think anytime i go to the hospital i'll have issues with them but it always at the end they will make me feel different they will beg me they will apologize you get it so but online it is different so if you're new here and you start to make videos if you are from especially i'm familiar with nigerians filming about ghana if you are new and you are doing that expect to be bash okay expect hey but the number of people that love us are more okay i know that but in real life it's as if everybody is an angel everybody cares everybody welcomes you no hate so you start to wonder ah, what's going on so but anyways normal all right so guys i've been talking 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 and um what again do i have to say so that's it friendship online and offline is never the same okay so if you're concerned i'm talking about their country they are bashing me don't worry leave the online people everybody go they all right okay online some people have made up their mind to be nothing but truths but in real life is actually not like that it's not the same i can easily go to the next street and ask a Ghanaian that sells out there to give me maybe a bottle of coke and i'll come back to pay later they will give me with that being said i'm ending the video i'll see you in my next one bye don't forget to subscribe and don't thumb this video down all right bye